Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Monday, so that means it's moving on Monday. We're really just going to make a quick card with ink and some cardstock. May throw in just a tiny embellishment, but all in all, it's going to be super fast. Isn't this cute? This is made with the Burlap Stamp and Wood Words Stamp Set. Okay, so what I thought we would do is this is with... Uh, Crumb cake and night and navy. And I use the rooster and the flowers which come out of the set. So we're going to change it up just a little bit. And we're going to start off with the, a crumb cake base, some whisper white, some cherry cobbler, and another scrap piece of whisper white. As always, the instructions and measurements will be in the eye in the top part of this video or down in the description field along with uh, the link that takes you directly to the blog post and the supplies to purchase that I'm using on this card. So, uh, you guys know I like to keep it real, okay? So, in keeping it real, I purchased myself a stamping platform. I'm not here to advocate one platform over another platform. I'm just telling you that Stampin' Up! does not currently have a platform. Whoops, those stuck together. And uh, so I purchased myself one. I'm gonna go ahead, I know I don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down. And I want, here's my burlap stamp, okay? And I want a lot of it to show up on here. And the reason I'm using this is so that if I need to go back over it again, I'm going to put a magnet there, and I'm going to put a magnet here, that I can get it lined up. Okay? So, technically it should be like this. Let me get my crumb cake. Good ink it up. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more. Went a little darker. There we go. I'm liking that. Now, real quick. Let me go ahead and just grab my rag and wipe this off. I love this burlap stamp. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm done with this. Set it aside. Now, I wanted it to, as you can see here, I didn't want it to look white, but I didn't want it to look like vanilla either. So I've got my crumb cake sponge. I'm going to start off, and then I'm just I want it to look rustic, weathery. You know me. And I even came over the top. Okay. And my fingers are extremely inky, so be be prepared. But that's okay. Got to do what you got to do, right? Let's leave that out. <clears throat> okay. Now let's bring in our scrap of Whisper White. And I decided to use the Distressed Heart. And thanks a bunch out of the Woodwards. And I'm doing this in, we're doing it in Cherry Cobbler. So we're changing it up just a bit. So let's see what kind of image I get. Okay. Just going to put it in the middle. Okay. 
Oops, looky there. Well, let's get our little sandstone out. Somebody was just saying the other day, some people have had success and others haven't, and it's just gonna depend on how deep your oops is, I guess. Pretty good to me all right now also I want to do these florals which they are part also of the woodworks set that right there see there you go so let's cherry cobbler and I just did these random so just, that's why I've got this scrap piece of paper here Pretty cute. Then we're going to take our sponge again. And I rocked it good there. You know what? That may not be savable. Let's go back and let's get. around trying to hurry sometimes it's better to slow down isn't it but you guys know me I'm gonna keep it real so let me get my rag and wipe this off where I rocked it so bad when I was inking it up now you gotta just be careful if you got a super juicy ink pad which is exactly what I've got here so let's let's try it again There we go. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. Now, oh, we're gonna have to do our sentiment, so we'll hope we'll leave that out for just a second. Let's grab our crumb cake. Just to stress this out too. I didn't want it to be as dark as crumb cake all over. That's why I didn't want to start off with crumb cake. Just wanted it, and I wanted it to look different, different textures. Oh, that's kind of cute. All right. All right, now let's bring in a piece of cherry cobbler. Let's grab our fast fuse. And we'll put some fast fuse down here. I'm going to line this up in the middle. Okay, that's pretty cute. And I think we're going to go this way. So let's put a little more fast fuse. Remember, light pressure. Take it off. All right, so let's just kind of line this up, the edge. All right, I'm liking that. Now let's go ahead and bring in our thanks a bunch, and we're going to do that in cherry cobbler too. Get that. All right, and I think I will put that down here. cute as that all right and you know what else I did I made a little I grabbed some of our linen thread and kind of made a double bow that I thought I would stick under there what do you think let's grab a mini glue dot and stick it on there And 
thought we would just put it right here under this part. Okay. Okay, so we've got that done. Now let's get this out of the way. Clean and simple, you guys. That's what Mondays are all about. You can make this card super fast, but not so fast that you make mistakes like me. There you go. Look how cute that is. Hello, friend. Thanks a bunch. Remember, we used the wood words and the burlap stamp with cherry cobbler, night and navy on crumb cake. Isn't that cute? Fast too. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you uh, sub subscribe to my channel, but also you can uh, click on my Facebook link because we have lots of things going on over there. Uh, if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd sure love to be your gal. Hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.